yeah, Mickey pumpkin. Look at that. All right, so we're at Epcot, and we're gonna do Living with the Land. It's the boat ride to a better understanding of the land. So after we're gonna eat at the Garden Grill restaurant, which is rotating, and they actually use all the ingredients from what you're gonna see when we eat there. It's one of my favorite meals at Disney, especially at Epcot. There's a lot of good food here, but let's see. And they've got like Goofy, Mickey, I think the Chipmunks. There they are. Yeah, there'll be no line in this. Living with the land boat ride. So you gotta come down to the first floor. Zero line. It's about 4.30 right now. Actually, it's faster doing this. Five, yeah. Welcome to Living with the Land. In the middle? As you go to the floor, please enter your hand and watch your step. Alright, get out. Front row, I don't know if I've ever done this before. I've never sat in the front row. Oh, yeah. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning of the cycle of life. surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create a diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface. <laughs> but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients and the restaurant up there. the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil one day become home to the American farm.
Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environment. How right. will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. So this is my favorite part of everything. So you can see all the food in here. So all this food, they actually use. And you can eat it at so the restaurants around the Walt Disney World Resorts. And parks. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce beautiful harvests now and in So yeah, they got rice that they use at the in Japan. So they tell you where they the where tropics they use some are of it. Some papaya, diversity of plants, edible plant. flowers. Many of these and they, papaya, bananas, and you'll cacao, see that they actually are well known around the world. Test different ways of farming. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in sea grape. I don't know what that is over there. Others are well adapted to growing in less than I water lily. Nutrition. I don't think I've ever had one of those yet. So, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant. Even the flower petals are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make the flowers. The date for palm. <laughs> One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both Fluted sides. Fluted pumpkin. Not growing yet. More than twenty. Look back there. There's like gourds back there on those. The most popular fruit in the world. That's vanilla, maybe, yeah. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, I don't see. Oh, there's some nanners. See them right there on the bottom? Yeah. Alright, so this is pretty cool. They're, this is farm raised tilapia and bass. I think they might have some shrimp and stuff too, but they'll actually serve these at the restaurants as well. And they'll actually take the waste from these fish and fertilize a lot of the... When you mention farming, you probably don't think of... Fertilize a lot of the plants. Fish farming for agriculture accounts for nearly half of all the seafood you see in the globe. bass, and catfish, but the ones you So when we did that tour, we actually got to feed them, right? All right, so here is the freshwater shrimp. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there's some in there. I don't see anything else in there. Oh, there's one more hiding on the bottom. Oh, there's a bunch in there. All right, now we're getting down to business. What is this thing on the side? Look at this big yellow. Who does hand? Is that what that is? I've never seen that before. I have to look up Buddha's hand. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the yep, world, there's the Disney. most of us are only the Disney head with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grain corn is growing. That's pretty short. Lemongrass is back there. And milk, Quinoa, rice. pigeon pea. It tells you where they use it. Passion fruit, sunflowers, wheat. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important Agave. That's what they're going to use for tequila.
Nine pound lemon. I've seen those before. I don't see any in the trees though. Swiss chard. Swiss chard? Yeah. These plants. Yeah, just like a little leaf. Yep. Oh, there's eggplant. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's eggplant. While more efficient, and they uh, like water, fertilizer, they get to grow and get caught up there. Look at these pumpkins. Look at how they can hold on. Oh, they're making a pim. Oh yeah, Mickey pumpkin. Look at that. Beneficial insects that prey on the bottom, yeah. significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We have lettuce now, too. And the NFT technique, nutrient, nutrient, technique. Film, nutrient film, film technique. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce. Sweet taters. In this one small area. Tomatoes. Little hot peppers. Some of them are purple. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control. There's microgreens. These crops. Look at the big cucumbers hanging. In fact, we serve all over the place. 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. The VIP tour, yeah. Parsley, cabbage. More basil. And then these poor fish. <laughs> Just hanging out in there. The future of agriculture. What if you were a fish in there and you didn't you were next to another fish you didn't like, what would you do? Plants grown in this smack way use a fraction of the space thing. required with your by fin? Yeah, smack them with nets. your tail. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. <coughs> you can the see the roots and the water there. a natural source of fertilizer for the plants. And the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Ooh. Some celery. Alright, now we're checking in for dinner here. The garden grill. Check in. So you can start to see me. All right, so that's a neat little tour. I like it. We learn a lot, and now we get to eat some of the food that we see. Excited for dinner? Yes. You excited to see your characters? Yes. What's your favorite? Mickey and Pluto. Mickey and Pluto. Which one do I look more like? I look more like a werewolf right now. I should just shave off all the gray. So I do that, shave off all the gray and see what's left. You like the idea? Okay. All right, come eat with us. All right, garden grill. Let's do it. Oh, there he is. The floor is slowly rotating. Awesome. There he is. Oh, we're eating right here. All right. I'll go right in the middle. I'm going right in the middle. So this is family style. All you folks to enjoy food served to your table. Our server today will be Sean, and he'll be with you shortly. And here's your allergy friendly menu for whoever needs it. And Mickey, Pluto, Chip, and Dale will all come to see you at the table as well. Thank you. Enjoy. <gasps> Hello. Mickey <laughs> you likes your outfit. Oh, thank you so much. Can we get the translator. Yeah. Mackenzie, do you want a picture? Pictures, hugs, autographs, whatever you want. Are you going to get one? Perfect. Can you take a picture? 
smile. Smile, big smile, big smile, big smile, one more. Thank you. <coughs> Did you bring your autograph book? No? Okay, we'll have to bring it. What? Okay, Oh, we can get another one if you want to. So, Mickey will sign autographs as well. Perfect. All right. You gotta take your take your cap off. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Thanks, Mickey. Ooh. Yep, that's him for sure. Is this okay, we're rolling back. So obviously you know the deal. Mickey yep. Mouse, Chip and Dale, and Pluto. There we go. Squeeze that in there for you. Squeeze that in there. Thank you. And we're gonna do we gluten? I yes. see. Okay. Pretty easy. Uh, we have gluten-free bread and just don't eat the mac and cheese. Perfect. So and then they, we do have a gluten-free option on the dessert as well. Excellent. So uh, Mickey Mouse, Chippendale, and Pluto, they'll all be around to visit you. Uh, feel free to take pictures or get autographs. Awesome. Uh, food, uh, family style, just bring it to the table. Uh, start off with uh, salad with bread and butter. And then the main skillet comes out, mac and cheese, beef flank steak, barbecue chicken, mashed potatoes, corn succotash, green beans, corn spoon bread. It's all really good. Corn spoon bread is gluten free because we use corn flour. So you can have Perfect. that. Uh, beer and wine, and then beverages uh, Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, lemonade, root beer, iced tea, apple juice, and Coke Zero. Ladies? Apple juice, Sprite. I don't know. You're going to have to decide. You know what you want? Sprite? Okay. Sprite as well. Yeah, I'll take water, please. Water. I'll take a Sprite and a water. Sprite and a water. Can I have an iced tea? Okay, sweet or unsweet? Unsweet. Do you have whole milk? I don't have whole milk. No. Just white milk. I'll take one of those too. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh. Uh, who's that, Goofy? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, he likes your ears. Can you draw a picture of yourself on there too? There it is right there. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's you. Your turn. Perfect. And then monster. Smile. Big smiles. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. And then monster. All right, two down, right? Got a smelly dog coming. Oh my god! It's the best dog ever. <laughs> Where's your other one? Did you lose it? Well, that, that's, the, that's the way to do it. <laughs> oh, he licked it! Gross! Alright, get a picture. Okay, point out, get a picture, baby. Oh my goodness! He's so goofy. He's so goofy. <laughs> Your 
All right, smile. Big smiles out here. Now, eat her head, eat her whole face. <laughs> it's gone, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting rid of all the characters. Oops. But, so we've got, so we're like rotating now. We're finding our way around, so we're not seeing anything in the front anymore. We're almost through there, so let's see where we're going. So now it's gonna be time to eat. We're excited, we haven't eaten much today. Butter for you. Thank you. Bread and butter for everybody else. Thank you. All right, Did you like some? Family. Thank you, you so it? much. Girls, let's make sure we're being quite safe. Thank you, right? You want some? I can get it after. You want some salad? I'm good. Okay. So, here's the salad. I'm not sure what the dressing is. Some sort of vinaigrette. Oh, it's a big bite. It's, it's, it's good. It's a little slimy. Not as warm, or not as cold as I would like. But it's good. Yeah, they're definitely trying to turn tables here. They're not. All right, what do you ladies think of the, uh, what do you think of the salad? Have you tried it yet? I'm gonna try some of this gluten-free bread. It's really, it's warm, it's doughy. And I like to over butter things, I don't know about you. It's too much butter. And then I like to put so much butter on and then I like to shut it and then have the butter drip into my mouth. I'm just kidding, who would do that? <laughs> it's really good. I think it's better than the Regular bun. You like you want to finish it? Oh, she took my bread. I forgot about that. Goldfish on the mac and cheese. Alright, I'll grab that. I'll be right back to your water. Thank you. Who wants macaroni and cheese? This much? You want animal crackers on yours? More? Oh yeah. More? Okay. What? You want some? All right, no carbs on this. Gluten free, they said. Thank you. All right, so we need a lot of the meats. Is this cornbread? Yeah. Like a piece of chicken home? Like a leg? You're gonna have to eat chicken or meat. This is dinner, we're not eating after this. Start with the mac and cheese. Right. Mac and cheese is pretty good. Steak is perfect. Beans. They actually cook perfectly too. I'm not really like a barbecue chicken like fan. The way this is. Pretty good. This is what we've done so far to everything. Uh oh. Alright, now we've made it to whatever this is over here. Oh, the corn, okay. The pastures of the Midwest. We're making it around. Yeah, the buffalo are down there. It's going in circles. That's crazy. 
gotta try a little bit. To the desserts. It's actually really good. You may have cookies and it's very good. You don't have to have the whipped cream, you can just give it a little bit of Alright, so they placed into the point. It wasn't as good as it was the first time that we came here, but it was still it was still really good. Service was pretty good. Selection, going home stuff, and it's pretty reasonable. I'll show you what the bill is here in a little bit before we leave. Okay, so the regular price is two fifty nine eighty six, and since we're an annual, I'm an annual pass holder, you get ten percent off. So it's a pretty good deal on your entire uh, entire meal. So it brings it out to two thirty three eighty seven. Um, where is Give him a hundred dollar tip. You did a nice job. Easy tip back the discount anyway. So three thirty three eighty seven. Right in there for five people. It's actually I think a pretty good price considering what you all get. And you see where the food comes from. Fun. But if you get a chance to get out here, let me know what you think of the experience or what your favorite restaurant is here at Epcot or Magic Kingdom or any of the parks. I'm interested to know because I haven't been to all of them and I really haven't been to a lot of them in the, uh, in the resorts themselves either. So maybe someday. I might steal a pen too. Just kidding, I would never do that. But. Thanks for watching. Another place that Jason was there.